new videos every day. Hi guys, I'm Lori from Total Wellness Austin, and today we're gonna do some hip opening exercises. Make sure that you favorite this video and try to follow along with it at least three times a week. To begin with, we're gonna start on our hands and knees. So you're gonna begin with your right foot forward, like you're coming into a lunge. You're gonna be on your left knee. Place your hands on the inside of your right foot and you're going to lean into a lunge. So as you lunge, you're opening the left hip flexor or psoas muscle. You can also take the right knee and let it open slightly away from your body, which will also stretch the right inner thigh. You're gonna to want to hold this position for at least 30 seconds. Remember to breathe in and out through the nose. As you breathe in, your belly is going to expand. And as you exhale, belly is gonna come in towards your spine. If you would like to take this pose a little bit further, you can come down into your forearms. So your options are your hands or your forearms. Remember to keep breathing in and out through the nose. Focusing on relaxing this muscle, stretching the inner thigh. And then you're gonna draw the right knee back towards your body. You're gonna curl the toes on the left side under and you're gonna raise the knee. So the left knee is gonna come up off the mat. Okay, so now you've got a little bit more stretch on the left side of the psoas. So as your knee is up, you can press the left heel towards the back wall and you're opening up that muscle even more. Continue to breathe. want to add some movement to the pose, you can rock. This also gives some stretching to the foot, gets the blood flow into the foot and the toes. And again, about 30 seconds. And then begin to lower the knee slowly. And then, we're gonna stretch the right hamstring. So your hands can remain on the inside of the right foot, and then you're gonna straighten the right leg without locking the knee. So you wanna keep a tiny bend or a micro bend in the right knee, and you're just gonna fold your body forward. So now you're gonna to begin to feel a stretch in the back of the leg, the calf, and the hamstring. Watch my low back as I breathe. So I'm actually really breathing into the back. Inhale, my back is rising up. Exhale, it's coming in. taking the right foot back and back to your knees. And then we're gonna do the other side. So you're gonna take your left foot, bring it forward. Hands are on the inside of the foot. Your knee, right knee is down and you're coming into a lunge. So now we're stretching the right hip flexor or the right psoas. Remember you're breathing in and out through the nose and then you can take your left knee and let it open slightly away from you. So now you've got a stretch on the inner thigh and on the right side of the hip flexor. And if you want to take the pose a little bit deeper, you can come again down to your forearms. Inhale, exhale. As 
you exhale, really focus on relaxing the muscles in the hips. Okay, then bring your knee, the left knee in towards you slightly. Curl your right toes under and lift your right knee up off the mat. So now you've come into a little bit deeper lunge because you can take your right heel and press it towards the back wall. And then if you wanna add some movement, you can rock back and forth on the toes. Just remember to keep breathing. You do not have to rock back and forth if you want to hold the pose just in this position, that's completely fine. Just remember the most important thing is to continue to breathe. And then lower the right knee, toes go flat on the right side and then you're gonna straighten the left leg. Don't lock out the knee, keep a micro bend in the knee and then fold forward, stretching the hamstring and the calf. As you inhale, focus on your back. Muscles are coming up on an inhale. Exhale, they're coming in. And you'll begin to notice after every exhale, you will come deeper and deeper into the stretch. And the reason for that is you're sending more and more oxygen to the muscles, which is helping the muscles start to get blood flow, and then they begin to release and relax. Take your left foot back and then come to seated. So now you begin to feel a stretch in the psoas, probably in the quadricep as well. We've also addressed the hamstring and the calf. If you don't have any hip or joint problems, then you can proceed into the next position. We're going to come into pigeon, which is going to make more of a stretch in the glutes. So you're gonna start in downward dog, curl your toes under, press your hips up, take your feet about hip distance, and press your heels back. Relax your head, and just take some deep breaths. So you're getting the back of your hamstrings and your calves, and then on an exhale, you're gonna bring your right leg through. You're going to bend it at a 90 degree angle if possible, and you're gonna slide your left leg back. So if you can't take this leg to 90 degrees, you have another option. You can slide this foot closer into you. So now it takes this hip and it puts less of a stretch on the right glute. So this is fine, and then you can come to your elbows. The reason I want you to come to your elbows is to protect the low back. Okay, so you can be here, or as you advance into the pose, take your foot out and come here. The other thing that you need to look at is don't lean to the right or to the left. You wanna stay on top of the back leg. So when you're completely centered, you're getting a really good stretch on the right glute, and you're stretching the left psoas as well. And then again, come down to your elbows, and just relax and begin to breathe. Exhale, focus on your right glute. 
relaxing the muscle on an exhale. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. the toes under on your left foot. Use your arm strength to push yourself up. Bring yourself back into downward dog. Pedal your feet. Let the blood flow get back into the legs. And then on an exhale, you're gonna take your other leg and you're gonna bring it forward. And you can come here. Or you can bring your foot out and come into the full pose. Now, if your hips are extremely tight, there is one other modification that you can do. You can grab a mat or a pillow and you can place it underneath your hip. So if you wanna to continue to get a really good stretch, but your hips are tight, when you come into the pose, place the pillow underneath the hip of the leg that's bent. So now I have a little bit of support, but I'm still getting a complete stretch in the glute. Okay, so I'm on top, my right leg is extended, I'm not leaning to one side or the other. And then I'm gonna come down to my elbows. So the reason the pillow works is because it's giving you support. And without the support, sometimes you want to tighten up that muscle because you're wanting to protect it. But with the pillow, the muscle is able to start to relax. And then eventually you're gonna get closer and closer to the ground. And exhale, remember on your exhale, relax the muscles. And then come to your hands again. Curl the toes on the right foot under. Use your arm strength and press yourself back into downward dog. Pedal your feet. Come to your knees. And then come to seated. So that was our exercises for opening up the hips. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. Make sure that you favorite this and follow along with me at least three times a week. Mm -hmm.